Hello again. Uh, I'm going to talk about today uh, about uh, AFR heads and um, an intake setup. And I'm all going to base this on stock cams. I know everybody wants a big cam sounding, but I really don't care if my cam so or my car sounds like it has a big cam in it and a car that has a stock one passes me up. So it could sound fast all you want, but it's got to you know i gotta actually move for the sound I, I i hate seeing cars with the big cam and you got the big show and the sound and then it goes and it's you know slow as shit so anyway the setup here just take the we'll take the blower out of the out of the picture here so um the heads are afr 165s probably not guess anything anymore it's all covered up by everything else anyway what i did is stock cam afr 165s with 1.7 roller rocker it's pedestal mount like stock i just kept it simple um the first time so i put those heads on with the um explorer intake and and it was the earlier one i think the 95 or six, whatever one was the first two years that were the early one um and i had a draggy on the car so with that being said um the car first ran with just a t5 in it because the first time i ran it it hit on automatic but then i switched it out so T5, um, 355 gear, uh, and the motor was stock. The car ran like a 14.7, and uh, that's all I was going to get out of it. Um, and at 14.7 at 94 miles an hour. So then I put the heads on, the roller rockers, and... Um, the, the Explorer intake on the it did have the headers on it though not that those make a big difference because they're between the BBKs and the stock ones I know the stock ones are all crimped up but on the stock heads with those it ain't going to make a difference what you put on there There's nothing flows out of those stock ones anyway um, so with the heads intake and rockers it went from that to a 13.5 at 103 so i consider that it was like yeah 103 i consider that a pretty decent jump from you know from before and 1350 that was with the tire spinning too so the car would have gone faster than that et wise and that's just with that and the stock cam. Um, then I decided to out to the System Max 2. Um, and I did have the 70 millimeter throttle body on it previous. Uh, I gained three more miles per hour and a couple more tenths, but I was spinning again. So, uh, changing out to the System X, the Holly intake, she went to 107 miles an hour, 106 and 107, by just changing the intake from the GT40. So, there is a difference. It did make a difference. Uh, did I feel a little bit slightly less bottom end? Yeah, there was a slight slight loss but not enough to say not to do it and again i had 355 gears so if you're running if you're going to run your car na and uh you're going to have 373s or something like that or 410 it's not going to matter you know uh, you won't you will definitely not feel it then but i knew i was going to put the blower on so between knowing that i was going to do that i i wasn't worried about the loss of any even slight because that took that took over now it's like nothing so um so there you have it with the 
I thought that the heads were, you know, a good, a good thing to do. Took some weight off the car too. So I definitely say that uh, the heads were 100% worth it. The car runs pretty efficient. And I would say, I mean, it's getting like, you know, 20, 22 miles of the gallon on the highway. Runs nice and clean. And uh, it's just, just looking at those stock heads in the ports, you would say, why would I starve my car <laughs> like that? So definitely worth it. I mean, I wouldn't even waste time with all those other things. Just if, if, if that's what it is, just save up your money and just get, get some of those AFRs or something like it, even the trick flows. I did think about those too, but I decided to go. I think my reason was I wanted to just go with the pedestal mount, not wanting to do the other style uh, rockers. So that's why I went with them. I don't think... I don't think trick flow has them that way. So I think that was the only reason I didn't do it. Like, you know, is it a big deal? I don't know, but I just wanted it to be like, kind of like all the, like the, the original stuff set up. So, so there you have it. Uh, there, you know, I don't know what the intake would have done on a, the stock setup, probably nothing. So, but there is a difference between the GT40 and the System Max for sure. So uh, that's all I have on that. I just wanted to, that was my setup with the stock cam and the stock cam will do you. You, you know, I know people want to hear that sound, but I'm over it. All right, till next time. Later.